lot of you guys use that stuff. It's, I'm telling you, Britt, I I have used just about every kind of fluorocarbon line out there. You tried that new Spro carbon line? No, no, I have not. I thought I got bit, but I don't think I did. Oh, yeah, we got one looking at it. Yeah. No, we're coming after it too. Yeah. Well, we get two yeah, coming after it. You should get one. God, one of them should have freaking bit that. I There's would three think. of them around it now. What that some I don't know. There I go. Oh, if he'd have come up, he'd have come up. I don't know. I think he needs more hooks on the Yeah, that's a nice, nice small mouth. Chad. This is the size they get. I don't know what was wrong with him. He just floating 
just below the surface. Oh, that one's about a 16 inch Kentucky trying to eat him. So if you think those glide baits are too big, they're not. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It is Wednesday, December 20th. Um, kind of a real quick recap what's been going on a little bit here. So it's, I don't know, this winter has been crazy. We've not, <laughs> the water temperature on the lakes is still in the mid 50s. I saw 56 degrees today on Table Rock and you know, this time of the year, it's usually in the low 50s, upper 40s, and the fish, the bass, and everything are just not acting. They still think it's late October, you know, early November. It's it's still we're we're about a month behind or so, and and it does. It's it's weird. Uh, it's uh, I you know the the bass fishing's okay. You know, you saw in the videos, it's, it, uh, we're still catching some, we're catching some out deep, we're catching, you know, some up shallow still on the, on the jewel, uh, finesse jig, um, catching some on a jerk bait, uh, the ones out deep are on a spoon, um, jewel scuba spoon, and, and, uh, actually caught some the other day on a, uh, on the live spin, um, and it's it's weird i you know the shad are out there that there's not a in real big groups of shad yet but they're they're all down on the bottom and when they do that it's it's those fish want those shad to be up in the water column and they'll get out there and actively feed on them but um I had a, a trip yesterday, buddy of mine, Britt and Jim, and we caught them deep, um, caught, caught some deep, uh, caught, uh, I, you know, wind was blowing pretty good on a bank. We pulled up there and I caught some on a jerk bait and caught a pretty nice smallmouth on jerk bait. And then today on Table Rock went uh, uh, mid lake area around Baxter and, and uh, Caught uh, caught a couple on a jerk bait as well, you know. Just find those wind blown points and uh, with a chunk rock. But yeah, it's uh, also saw a big gizzard shad. Um, that thing was probably 12, 13 inches long. But it was when I pulled up there, it was kind of stunned, you know, floating around and and there was about a 16, 17 inch Kentucky trying to eat that thing. You know, I I don't know what he was. Hey, he was hungry, I guess, but um, yeah, he he was. I actually saw him bump it a couple of times, and so you know that's that kind of it goes to tell me you, you hear about these big glide baits, and and they're not too big. Whatever glide bait you're throwing, it's not too big. I promise you. You know, if a 16, 17 inch Kentucky's trying to eat a 12 inch gizzard shad, so. It does. It's I, you know, I really expect the the deep bite to get a lot better here in the coming weeks. It's it's finally starting to cool down some, um, and I'll keep you posted on that. I'll do some more videos this winter. I think me and Eric Prey and and Pete Leonard are going to get out and do do some videos and stuff. And uh, I'd like to get Pete out and do a do a crappie video um, and uh, kind of show you how he does does his crappie fishing. He is definitely definitely one of the best at it around here. So um, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, this winter, if you're not out fishing, um, uh, you know, last night I've been, I've, I've been following Chris Zaldane, uh, Zal Dangerous um, on YouTube. If you get bored, watch some of his podcasts. He, he did, it's, it's called the Bilge Podcast and, and He's had two uh, two podcasts, one with Mike McClellan and one with uh, James Watson, both buddies of mine. They it's it's really interesting, 
they they go over a lot of good topics and a lot of a lot of interesting stuff so it's it's worth the watch for sure um anyway guys thanks for tuning in stay you know subscribe like the channel please keep tuning in and uh i will see you guys next time